of the most googled questions about contraceptive is which is the best method of family planning welcome back to my youtube channel i'm nasi janet and in today's video i'm going to talk about what determines the best method of contraceptive just before you use it with me here i have different types of contraceptive i have the chagolango pill this is a combined oral contraceptive pill that you always take daily i have the progestin only contraceptive this is a single hormone contraceptive i have the three months injection the depo provera the jardel is here that is the five year contraceptive implant also have the implanol for the three years yeah a single rod iud the intrauterine device this is copper t non-hormonal and uh, lastly i have condoms with me here too and back to the question of which is the best method of family planning we have to consider the effectiveness of the family planning and again the side effects of this kind of family planning almost all these methods of family planning got different side effects but again some side effects are very very common and again the side effect depends on your general health and again not every woman will experience the same side effects when using the same mode of contraceptive the best method of family planning is a method that will not interfere with your normal menstrual cycle actually it's very healthy for a woman to ovulate and to receive her menstrual periods regularly now these kind of methods are very very limited or we have them into two categories we have the barrier method and the natural method on the effectiveness while using the natural method they are not really really effective actually the natural methods entails the calendar method or even the withdrawal method these methods are not highly effective because first they can easily fail you yeah yeah, yeah. depending on different situations you can easily fail on the natural methods on another barrier method here we have the condoms which are very good because they actually protect you against sexually transmitted infections too but again the challenge that comes with it they are not highly effective compared to these other methods and again you have to use them consistently whenever you have to have sexual intercourse we are left with one of the best method of contraceptive and i'll tell you why it's considered the best method of contraceptive the intrauterine device the non-hormonal iud actually we have the hormonal iud too and i'm going to speak about the non-hormonal iud this one here this is one of the most effective modes of contraceptive at 99.9 percent .9 effective yeah that shows you how much effective it is and again it can serve you up to 10 years quite long duration the reason why this method here is considered one of the best method of contraceptive is that it is hormone free remember i told you it's very healthy for you to have your menstrual cycle naturally yeah without any interference of hormones because we know any introduction of a hormone in your body the way these other methods work they work in a way that they first block the ovulation now while using the intrauterine device you will be receiving your message regularly you will be ovulating normally and again another thing that makes it very very best method is that after whenever you want a baby you can easily get it just after removal and as you can see it's a t-shape just the shape of your trust so it works by preventing the sperms from swimming upwards to meet an egg and again the copper chemically kills the sperms just before they meet an egg yeah there is no hormone that you will be experiencing hormonal imbalance while using this method unlike the many hormonal methods and that is why copper tea is one of the most effective and one of the best methods however otherwise it also has its own side effects depending on your general health but again the best thing is that these side effects are not related to the hormonal changes unlike the other methods yeah on the other methods they are equally good but again almost all hormonal methods works by preventing ovulation and changing the cervical mucus whenever an ovulation is prevented actually there will be an interference with your menstrual cycle and it's either you'll be experiencing no bleeding spotting or even heavy bleeding and that this is what makes these other methods 
not really really conducive or not really really suitable compared to the copper IUD. So while using these other methods, you might be experiencing different forms of bleeding, abdominal pain, several side effects actually, but again, it's not that every side effect you experience will be experienced by the next person. We are all different and our bodies actually functions differently. After interaction with so many women, I've realized that not so many women do really love it. Maybe the procedurally how it's being put or just lack of knowledge, but if you really want to have one of the good family planning that you will not be, you'll just be like uh, you were before you started any family planning, is the copper in trying to try device, the copper tea. As of now, we can conclude that the best method of contraceptive is a contraceptive that will not really interfere with your hormone levels. It's very important to ovulate as a woman. It's very important to receive your menstrual bleeding healthy and well-maintained without interference or adjustment of the hormones. Thank you for watching.